Hi, welcome for our RTL online trainings. In this session, I'm going to talk about account payables module in financials, in Vision Financials, and account payables. What are the different ways we can go for create supplier invoices? Uh, recently in the interviews, they will have asked us, what are the different ways uh, we can go for create a supplier invoices? How many ways we can go for create? Okay. So we can go for create uh, supplier invoices in the cloud by using electronic invoicing. It means we can get the data from legacy systems in inbound flow, means that we will be receiving in uh, XML format or any other format. By using REST or SOAP APIs, we can go for import the data from legacy systems and we'll do the mapping and we'll try to create. This REST or SOAP APIs are provided by Oracle that we have to use. Whenever we are using this REST or SOAP APIs, those uh, APIs will call it from either OSCS or manually also we can do it. But generally, most of the projects, whenever we are working, definitely it will be automated by using OICS, Oracle Integration Cloud Services. It's one of the integration tool. Like uh, uh, we have the Dell Boomi, like uh, we have MuleSoft, like in EBS, we were having SOA service oriented architecture, SOA suit for uh, integrations. Here we will be using electronic invoice. This is one way of creating the supplier invoices. The second one is, Supplier portal. Whenever we are working with uh, Fusion application, supplier portal also is there. It is a collaborative application. It is an integration application with the Fusion financials. It enables uh, buying the like uh, companies and suppliers, like buyers and suppliers can go for communicate each other. In between the information will be exchanged. It means supplier can send the invoice to our company and our buyer is going to verify and accounting department is going to validate and create accounts and these things. That way also we can go for get the supplier invoice. Another one is IDR, Intelligent Document Recognition. It's nothing but supplier is going to send an email with invoice attachment. Supplier is going to send an attachments with an email. Once we receive an email, an amazing content server, we have separate uh, amazing content server. In that server, we are going to find the document and then we'll go for import into our account payables. Into our account payables. That's what another process idea. Intelligent document recognition. Another one is, we are going to load the data by using FBDA template. File-based data import. So this FBDA import is used when we have some data which is already validated, which is already having clean data. It means we don't need to validate. If we say the data which we are receiving from the legacy system, we are we do not know whether it's valid or not, then we have to go for uh, REST or SOAP APIs and write the logic and validate the data and then go for upload it. But if we say the data is already validated, it's cleaned, then we can go for use the FBDA template and go for import. Another one is a manual process. Another one is a manual process. Let me show you all these uh, five environments uh, where exactly. The first one is uh, electronic. Let me remove this. First, we'll check electronic invoicing where we will do that. What we have to do, we have to choose this uh, URL, whatever we are using. Take this up to dot com slash amazing. Enter slash amazing. Press enter key. Then we will be able to find the environment amazing web center content. Here we will be getting all the documents, whatever supplier has sent to our company. Then here we will be able to find the invoices. I think current employee does not have the access. We need to log in as a financial user. Let me log out because this user does not have access to any implementation rules or financial rules. I'm just trying to log in with our, uh, what is that login finance.user.
take this up to dot com. Sorry, up to dot com. After that, we have to enter slash image. Yes, this we have to enter so that the system will take us into the web center amazing content server. Here we can find expense report search, table invoices search. So whatever the mails we have received from the suppliers with an attachment that documents will find, we need to search with our uh, invoices. Once we search with the invoices, then we'll try to upload this document into the process. That's an amazing invoice process we'll find. The next one. So this is one method. Another one is so uh, the second one. Let me open the presentation. Electronic invoicing, restart SOAP APIs. Right now, whatever we have seen, that is uh, intelligent document idea recognition. Now we are going to see electronic invoicing. It means we have in payables, Oracle Fusion Finance payables, rest API. For every module, there will be a REST APIs and SOAP APIs. Right now, we are working for account payables module, REST or SOAP APIs here. Now, if I want to go for load the data of the payables invoices, we'll find those. Here it is. Invoices. Create an invoice. If I want to go for create an invoice, this is the REST SOAP APIs we have. This is post we are supposed to use and there are a lot of other options. This this APIs will be using for creating the account payables. So technical developers are going to build this uh, document for data loading. And the third one is supplier portal. If you are a supplier, then you will be able to log into the applications. Okay, supplier portal. Okay, there is a supplier. Let me take one supplier. I'm going to manage suppliers here. Will be a supplier contacts information okay so this is the contact information i'm trying to use whenever we are creating supplier we'll maintain supplier supplier address sites and contacts right so contact is nothing but uh, supplier employees who will be communicating with our company to send the quotations okay and also sending the invoices purchase order updates and also negotiations as well as the Acknowledgements. We will find all the other information here. And this is the user account we are going to have. Right now, I'm going to use this user account. Oh, supplier. Let me open in another uh, private window. This we must know the password, right? So we need to reset the password. Where do we do that? We'll do it in uh, security console. Go to tools menu, security console. Let's go to users, search for the username. What is the
let me reset the password here. So this is supplier contact person account who is going to log in here supplier contact whenever he log in whenever this user log into the applications he can access only supplier portal so from here he will be able to raise the invoice for example this supplier has provided some goods or services to our organization now he want to raise the invoice so he can go for create invoice create invoice without purchase order and you can also view the invoices and payments. So all these operations can be performed. So whatever the invoices are created from here, again, it will be imported into our account payables. So this is another way. So we have seen electronic invoicing, means rest or so PAPAs with XML formatting and supplier portal and IDR and payable standard invoice import, nothing but FBDA data template, file-based data input. We need to download these templates from Oracle documentation. Oracle Fusion Finance Fables Voice FBDA template. VDA templates will find almost for every document, invoice, payment, supplier, customer general so this is all ways we can go for download these templates and then we can go for upload the data i think this is not the exact link file based data import for financials select this url for every module we'll find a pda now we are talking about account payables go to payables here payables payment request import Tables standard invoice input. So here is the template, a BDA template. We have to download and we need to fill the data and upload. These are the interface tables and this is the standard program to load from interface tables into the base tables. That is another way. Another last option is a manual creation. So manually, when employee is having access to the application, it means if the roles and data access has been provided, then you will be able to open the page from the front end and go for creation of the invoices. So I have already attached the payables roles, payable roles to the user. You can do it from here directly. This is how it happens. Okay. So this is uh, different ways. These are different ways we can go for uh, upload this options. Here it is uh, by using the different sources, five sources we have. Okay. Thank you.